All right, so windows are pretty much handled the same fashion as doors. I got a thing. Then uh, what I'm going to do is squish this down. But the only thing I have to kind of mention is the fact that, you know, if you're on the second story uh, and you have this character that's six foot tall, you wouldn't want to put your windows by its feet. Okay, so let's just kind of. think that way for a second and so he's standing out here um, you know, if I put my windows right about here that would work out good And I'm just going to kind of move one over here, just like that. And I'm kind of utilizing the edge loops I already have in here. Just like that, maybe. Now, certainly uh, people that you should know that in environmental modeling, uh, it's pretty much free for all except for n-gons, okay? So... You, the engine's going to triangulate the model. If you any engine is going to triangulate the model until until we have this magical engine that doesn't use triangles anymore, which uh, is one of those future things. But for right now, just think triangles. Now I could leave all these in quads. It's not going to hurt anything to be in quads. Uh, I would say if it was. 10 years ago or five years ago, maybe even two years ago, I would, I would say that would be a, a falchal statement to say. So, but for right now, know that engines handle a lot more polygons. It's not all about polygons anymore. It's more about the fact that the texture size, actually the texture will drag down an engine before the model will. So this is a pretty good utilized space. Right, I'm going to keep it all in quads. And what's nice about this workflow is, you know, you could start seeing, well, maybe I could put a window here. And look, it automatically fits. I'm just chopping these out to get an idea of things. And look on the back wall. Perfect. And they're the same height of the character and everything else. It even goes, it even goes to say that, you know, on this wall over here, I can put a couple windows. all because of that workflow. Okay. So keep that in mind as you're modeling. Uh, it's not all about triangles and I'm, I'm a pretty big advocate of quads. If you use them to your advantage, you'll be all the better for it. Now, let's talk about something Exterior versus interior. Okay, so if I'm in this model, this is what it's going to be. I can see this model as far as, you know, this is what it's going to look like in the interior or exterior of it. But when I'm in the inside of this, this model doesn't even exist in game. And that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, it's also perceived uh, in a video game that the model here has the interior built in you know but as soon as I enter that world it actually enters a different world altogether and it's perceived to be the same world but it's not so 
like these have to be almost double sided in order for that world to exist. So first off, we're going to look at interior or exterior texturing. So for this model, we're going to just worry about the exterior, and then later lessons we're going to do the interior. So this is how we get to the model, and this ends the bonus footage. Um, certainly, we're going to add some stuff to it, but as far as environmental modeling and this bonus video on how to maybe make a building. Uh, this is it, and now we can go back to our lessons of texturing. All right, enjoy, and uh, see you in the next video.